Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your own chapstick or lip balm, however you call them, customized labels. This tutorial is very easy to do and I'm going to show you the supplies you're going to need and I'll be using Microsoft Word today, okay? So let's get started. For your supplies, you are going to need chapsticks. Now these chapsticks, I found them on Amazon with no labels on them, but you could get chapsticks wherever you want. Just check down the description box for my Amazon link now i do get a small commission every time you do order from my amazon link now i do want to say that even if you don't shop what i recommend there even if you just click on my link and do your regular amazon shopping i still get a small commission and thank you very much for those that do so now these i found on amazon there were 50 in a pack the measurements that i'm going to give you are according to this chapstick if by any means you buy any other chapsticks from any stores like dollar tree and stuff like that and the measurements that I gave you don't fit, then just adjust your measurements. If they're too small or too big, just adjust it. I have a separate video on how to create your own custom labels for all your party favors. But for this tutorial, the measurements that I'm going to give you are for these. These are vanilla flavored and they also have cherry flavored. And of course, you are going to need your sticker paper. Sticker paper, it doesn't even matter what brand you use as long as compatible with your printer. Meaning if you have an inkjet printer, it has to be inkjet sticker paper. If you have a laser printer, make sure it is laser um, sticker paper. Also, if you want a matte look or a glossy look. This one that I have right here is a matte look and the brand is online labels. You can also find it on Amazon, but there's other brands like Mr. Labels, Koala, stuff like that. If you don't want to use sticker paper, you can use any other sticker paper, it's up to you. Also, if you have a Xyron um, Creative Studio machine, the machine that you run your paper through there and it becomes adhesive in the back, you can just print that out on regular sticker paper, glossy paper, cardstock, it doesn't matter, run it through there and your backing will be adhesive, okay? Again, it's totally up to you how you want to create this. And your pair of scissors, your printer, and your software. So let's get started on how you are going to customize them. Open up Microsoft Word. The next step that I like to do is I like to go to File. I like to go to Save As. And then from here on my drop down bar, it's going to say Save Document As. So, or Save As Type. I'm going to scroll down to where it says Word 97 2003 Document. I'm going to click there name my file and click on save after here i am going to create my template i'm going to go to insert i'm going to go to shapes and i'm going to go to the rectangle i'm going to make any rectangle of your choice now you can make this on landscape mode or portrait mode meaning depending on how you want your design to go and stuff like that i'm going to show you two different ways so create a rectangle here on your screen and then you're going to make sure you have it selected. Go to your format tab, go to height, and you're going to type on your height 1.87 and enter. And then on your width, you're going to type 2.12 and enter. Okay? So those are your measurements right here. Your height 1.87, your width is going to be 2.12. From here, you are ready to design. Now, make sure you click on your template. Make sure you're on your format tab, and you're going to go to shape fill. Before you fill this up, remember this is that you're going to be filling in your entire background. This is now where you're going to enter individual images. You're going to go to Google, and then you're going to look up images that you will like for your background. You're going to make sure. So right here, I just look up fall leaves background. I clicked on it. Then I right click, save to my computer. Once you save it, go back to Microsoft Word. Make sure you're in your format tab. Go to shape fill, click on pictures, and you're going to look for wherever you saved that image at. Click on it and then click on insert. Then everything's going to be filled in. I'm actually going to zoom in so you can see this better. Next step is I'm going to click on it where it says format tab, shape outline. It's going to say no outline. I don't want no outline around this template. 
Now you're going to add your individual images. The same thing, you're going to go to Google um, and then you're going to look up your PNG images. So you could put like girl cartoon. PNG. And then whatever image you will like, you're going to click on it. And a PNG image means that when you click on your image, it has to have a white and gray squares in the back. And that means it is a transparent background. Okay. After that, you right click, save to your computer. I have many images already saved. So make sure you don't have nothing selected. You're going to go to your insert tab. You're going to go to pictures. And from here, you are going to look up the image that you would like to add. click on insert, make sure your image is selected, go to wrap text in front of text. Okay. If you're wondering where I got this image, I got it from designbundles.com. Size it just by dragging. You have little circles on the sides. Do not go from the top or the sides because you're going to distort your image. I always use the corners. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. As you can see, I feel like my image should pop up a little more. So while I have this image selected, I'm going to right click, copy, right click and paste. So I have two images of her. So this one, I'm going to drag it just a tad bit bigger. And then where it says I'm going to be on the format tab where it says shadow effects. I'm going to click all the way down here where it says shadow style 18, click on it, then go back to shadow color and click on a color you want to color that shadow. I'm going to click on yellow. Now this image, I'm going to click on it, go to bring front and bring to front. And then this image, I'm going to put it in the front. And then I'm just using my arrow keys on my keyboard to align the image. And then if you want to make the shadow a little bit smaller and stuff, go ahead. So, and just use your arrow keys to align everything. Once it's selected, hold down your shift key, hold down the other image, right click, group, and group it together so they could both move at the same time, okay? And then you are able to add any words of your choice you would like. Hold on, I'm going to ungroup it actually and fix it a little bit more up here. Hold down the shift key, click on the other one. Group it together. All right, now you are ready to add your font. Again, if this is for a birthday party or a wedding, you're gonna add the images according to your theme. I'm just designing this for tutorial purposes. After that, make sure nothing is selected. You're gonna click somewhere else on your screen. Go to your insert tab. Go where it says Word Art. Click on Word Art. You're gonna choose the font that you want to use. I have a separate tutorial on how to download free fonts from thefont.com. Once you type your words, click OK, go to wrap text in front of text, go to shape fill and color your words, go to shape outline, no outline. I'm going to add a shadow effect to this as well. So I'm going to click on shadow and then shadow color. And then holding down my shift key, it has a little green ball right here on the top. I'm going to flip it. 
and add my words where I want it to be. I'm going to select this same word, right click, copy, right click and paste, right click and edit, and type a different word. And I'm going to select it and change the font for this one. And then you will be done. Again, you could add nutritional facts. You can add your logo. You can add anything of your choice. This is a a, way, great, a, a great way Sorry, to advertise. You could add, um, if you want people to follow you on Facebook and Instagram, you could create this just for advertisement. It's totally up to you. Now I'm going to create a second label that is going to be, um, this one is the portrait mode. So I'm going to create the landscape one. So I'm just going to copy and paste the same one but you will just create another rectangle then I'm gonna go to the format tab and then here on my height I'm going to type 2.12 and enter and then on my width I'm going to type 1.87 and enter it's the same measurements but just switch them around so this one is the landscape mode okay so on this one I'm gonna to go to format tab shape fill picture to put another background in here And you're going to start designing this one however you would like. Your next step is to group them together. So you're going to click on your words, hold down your shift key, and click on everything you added to your label. Let go of your shift key, right click, group, and group it together. And this should be able to move by itself. Same thing for the next one you did. Hold down your shift key, click on every single image you added, and your words, and your label. Let go of your shift key, group, and group it together. Now I am going to zoom out. And you're going to right click, copy, right click and paste and add as many labels as one page fits. Once you are done doing that, you are going to go right here up here to your print preview. It looks like a magnifying glass with a piece of paper. And you're going to make sure that everything looks okay in print preview. 
make sure everything doesn't look like it's out of the page from here you're going to select the printer that you are using I have a workforce 7710 and on my printer properties I'm going to click it on there and like I said I am going to be printing on sticker paper so where it says paper type I like mine to stay on premium presentation paper mat and I will click OK now if you don't have a printer at home or you are selling these digital files you need to make sure you save this as a PDF file no matter who you are sending it to or if you're not printing at home you need to make sure you are saving this as a PDF file a lot of people ask me those questions so you go to save as you go to save as type and where it says PDF you're going to click on there and I recommend saving this as a Word document and a PDF file. If you save this as a Word document, you can always go back and um, adjust anything, fix any words or stuff like that. But if you are printing somewhere else, save it as a PDF file. You could save that into a USB stick and go over there and print it or you email your customer the PDF file. Okay, so I hope this helped and I'll see you over there getting ready to um, put this on your chopsticks. Okay, I printed out my designs and all you have to do is grab a pair of scissors and cut your designs out. And all you have to do is, if you are using sticker paper, you're just going to peel off your sticker paper. Align it. Okay, so we are done with the labels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please comment down below any other videos you would like to see. Or if you have any questions pertaining this video, please feel free to comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload any other videos. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. If you would like to order anything from me, feel free to go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Andrina's Creations. If you don't have no social media, just feel free to email me at andrinascreations at yahoo.com. And if you do have a Facebook, please feel free to join our crafting community at Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. That is my Facebook crafting group. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.